Hi everybody and welcome to our American Truck Simulator series. Um, I hope you'll enjoy this series, this will run concurrently alongside the Euro Truck series. Now, it's a little bit different to the Euro Truck series, obviously. A, it's a different game, first of all, in terms of we're driving in the United States and not the UK and Europe. Secondly, we're always going to be driving this really beautiful old school Mac B61 truck. Um, and in order for me to try and recreate that feeling of, you know, manual steering, no power steering, uh, leaf springs, all round disc brakes, blah 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 I've entered a series of settings which I think are perfect I've put a copy of those settings underneath every American truck video for those of you that want to run a really old school truck with a very old school feel to the way it handles so I've started off playing this game I've done a I cut the jobs uh, I've bought my truck I've got a bank loan of a hundred thousand dollars that we've got to pay out uh, that was a bit weird, but anyway, we'll live with it. Uh, so, this is where we are. We're currently in Ely, having just dropped a load off. So, I need to pick a load up out of Ely um, and take it to wherever. Now, this Mac B61 is a standard freeware mod truck available for most versions of the game, including the latest 147.2. I have got my Bloom settings in and various other settings that you can copy and emulate again from the description under the video very easily should you wish to do so. Okay, so this again is running on my super low budget PC um, with the 2GB AMD Raiden graphics card, so no NVIDIA profile in Spectre etc etc and it not only looks but feels completely different to my Euro Truck Simulator. Now that is by design, not by accident. This specific truck, if I didn't already say, which I probably did, is freeware. It's not a payware truck. So you can get it 100% free charge. In terms of the game, well, we've only got the base game on American Truck. Um, and once we complete all of this con driving content, I'll show you a way of getting yourselves the whole of the United States and Canada as well for free but that's for a later video so if you've only got the base game of american truck that's absolutely fine do not concern yourself uh, we have got full immersion on uh, this is an old school truck so it's neither easy to drive or easy to steer you can almost feel the road underneath the front wheels whenever you turn the steering wheel it's hard work um, now the settings that i've put in uh, they are perfect for me. You might want to adjust them a bit if you copy them uh, and stick them in. Um, but anyway, I just thought it would be nice to run um, a different type of concurrent series. Ely back to Elko. 3 hours and 42. That can't be the only job available out of Ely. Well, maybe it is because don't forget we do only have the base SCS game. Why have I quit? clicked on quick job really what is the matter with me get a grip no I thought there'd be a lot more jobs available uh, most of them funnily enough are indeed to Elko so it looks like we're going to Elko well, if we're gonna go to Elko uh, we're gonna take the most expensive uh, profitable job we Let's can do this. as we do need to uh, pay off that debt uh, in order to make uh, the truck both ours and the actual runs Turn profitable. Left. Bearing in mind we also have to pay fuel and we have to service the truck as well, keeping it tip-top running order. Turn left. As it's a very old Mac B61, it takes a lot of looking after. Uh, now all the other settings that I've got in Euro Truck are also included in this, including the G-Traffic, G-Lod, Factor, blah 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 blah. Um, so again, I've put all those commands underneath the video descriptions for any of you that do want to copy it. Um, in terms of mods, the only mods we've got installed is the truck, basically. And that's about it. Sorry about my phone. Uh, yep, and that's about it. So we're pretty much vanilla except for the mod truck and the manual settings that I've put into the game to get the feel 
Uh, Stay and there. the sort of response that I there. want. So no disc brakes, uh, no air suspension, Turn uh, no power steering. It's all old school manual. You will oversteer, you will understeer. Uh, the trailers can be flipped over if you go around a corner too quick. See what I mean? Look, it's uh, it's not very responsive. Is this little truck, which is how it's supposed to be? It's old school. So you've just got to adjust your driving skills uh, to make sure that they are matched to the truck itself. This is a 4x2 chassis. We can go 6x4 as well. So let's go out to our galleon depot, go and pick this trailer up and then I guess our first job is to from Ely to Elko for this series. Uh, I hope you'll all enjoy it, I hope you enjoy the quality of it, this again is running on the super bug basic budget PC. Uh, it should Get not only be playing but also recording in beautiful 1080p. Uh, so hopefully it'll be good enough for you to not only watch back but also enjoy. I do try and my best to make my content a little bit different to everybody else's on YouTube. Um, and there are, as I say, many, many ways you can do that. Um, from mod trucks to environmental effects, engine sounds, you name it. So it's, uh, it's very, very easy in both these games to make them 100% your own. Uh, and that's my three series for the YouTube. Uh, American Truck, Euro Truck and of course Linux. Now, I shall do a fresh upload every single day at 7am. You have arrived. Uh, so you just have to check what the upload is, whether it's Euro Truck uh, or American Truck Simulator but one of them will get uploaded every single day so you'll always get fresh video content on the YouTube for your edification and satisfaction uh, I'm assuming it's around here I don't know what it is it's one of them funny weird American trailers because I'm an Englishman from the UK I do find some of the stuff they have in the States weird uh, but I'm sure it's done for a very good reason. Now, the only downside of using this truck is it is not compatible with Advanced Trailer Company. So that is disabled. Other than that, all of the immersion uh, options are switched on. Uh, the other bad thing is the mirrors on this truck are terrible. I can't even use them on the other side. So we will stay in cab as much as human possible uh, but there may be times when we need look at that not even near it when we need to come out side view fortunately uh, again I do have a uh, difficult parking set skill parking rather uh, so it's not just a case of drop and go it's gonna let us hit it okay, this time Good. here we go so now we can go externally you can see the angle is going in on no wonder it pick it up. So there we go, our beautiful little Mac B61, classic old American truck with a lot of history uh, and a lot of kudos as well in the modern world. And as the old sayings go, they don't make them like they used to. Um, but as I say, I've tried my best to set this truck up old school so it does take a while for us to stop it, it won't stop on a dime. Uh, it does take us a while to steer it, there's no power steering. And it is a bit bouncy thanks to the leaf spring uh, suspension on the truck. So as you can see, that's our truck, little 4B2, classic Mac B61, absolutely beautiful. So there you go everybody, I hope you're going to enjoy the series. Uh, thanks for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down, I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.